What's up, YouTube makers? Uh, ben Rockwood here. I want to make a little video. I don't normally make these, but I love all the uh, all the cool videos I found that are really helpful for for maker projects um, out on YouTube. And so I wanted to talk about mongoose, which is is sort of new. Um, as I understand it, mongoose was been around as as mongoose IoT in the past, but now it's mongoose OS, and things have been like super kicking for the last uh, last couple months. Um, they're moving fast, and it's really pretty neat project. Um, and in particularly, in particular for the ESP uh, boards, it's sort of gone to the next level in my opinion. So, um, wanted to show you sort of what I was messing around with today uh, to get it off the ground. So, I wanted to use uh, AWS uh, IoT um, and play around with it, um, but I had a hard time really getting going with it on the uh, ESP eighty two sixty sixes. You notice I've got two here on two different boards um, because I've been playing with different uh, firmwares on it. Lots of fun things you can do with these, but um, had a, a struggle sort of getting these uh, with their limited power up onto AWS IoT. But there's now sort of an option. And so to sort of flush it out, um, I wanted to build a little project. And just in case uh, anyone is here more interested in, in AWS IoT than, um, than, than uh, from the ESP side of the world, um, Boards like Edison are super great. They're really cool, um, but they're way more power than you generally need um, for little projects, and they're way too expensive. Um, so there's some new projects coming around, like uh, like the chip, um, that are better. But frankly, I, I really love the simplicity of the ESP boards, as opposed to Raspberry Pis or something like that. So. This is uh, one of the new uh, ESP32 dev boards. Got it from Adafruit because they finally have them back in stock. Thank you so much. And uh, it's wired up with the door sensor here. Real simple, cheap uh, door sensor. It's got a red and green light. And it is connected to my Wi-Fi uh, thanks to Mongoose. So to get started with Mongoose, it really is as simple as they say. You download it, uh, you, you connect, and it just walks you through. So once you've got the tool installed, which is sort of a cut and paste. You start it up, Moz UI, and it uh, pulls up in your browser. Super easy, you know, so it even pulls it up for you. You go through the setup, tell it your serial port, flash the uh, firmware version for the 32 or the uh, 8266. There's some other boards here that I don't use. Give it your Wi Fi settings. When you go to cloud, you can just tell it which MQTT server you want. This is super cool because you don't need to specify that in your code. Uh, you can just tell it you want to use IoT, uh, tell it the policy that you want to use, just accept the default here, and away you're off to the races. So I'm just going to go into advanced mode and skip the wizard, and you can see all the files that are on the device. There's a small file system available. And the one that has my code is uh, init.js. Um, super simple to find uh, the LEDs and the sensors. And then down here we have a timer that every second uh, looks for the sensor values. And if there's a change in the sensor value, it's going to send an MT, MQTT uh, uh, message to this queue. You notice I'm using sort of poor man's JSON in here. But that's enough to go off and talk to AWS. Um, you notice there's nothing in here about AWS. I'm just sending to MQTT, but it knows, uh, Mosquito know, or sorry, the Mongoose knows that what I want that to, to do is to send to AWS. So it sets up everything for you. Uh, if you have a CLI uh, ready to go, everything goes over. And then you can create rules in AWS. In this case, it's selecting everything from the sensors door office topic that I've published to and then it sends it off to uh, an SNS push notification and also to an S3 bucket. And there's my topic, which I'm not going to show you any further because you'll see my phone number. But you've also got CloudWatch on top of this, which is super cool. Um, so I can see what's gone where. And just to show you now, um, the notification will come to my phone and I'm recording on my phone so you can't see it. But um, what I do have here is I am connected to AWS IoT's MQTT server, uh, subscribe to it. So you will be able to see I do it. So if I 
open the door, light goes green, and you see I just got a message, door is open, and the notification just showed up on my phone via SMS. And if I go over here and close the door, light goes red, before I can even move my camera back, door is closed, and I just got the notification here on my phone. Um, super easy. I had no idea how uh, AWS IoT worked, and it just just worked. Um, since this time, uh, earlier this afternoon, now that I've kind of got things going, I've got some some stuff um, some, some stuff working. I've gone over and and consequently spent some time with uh, AWS IoT, and and now I kind of know what I'm doing, and I can um, get stuff set up, and and it's been pretty cool. Uh, but Big shout out uh, to to um, to the mongoose guys. Um, they did a killer job with this, and it's moving fast, so it's just getting better and better all the time. The MJS is is not uh, pure JavaScript, but it is definitely um, a cool way to do some development. Um, it's a lot easier than the other things that are out there. And if you've got an ESP thirty two, um, this beats the pants off uh, ESP IDF. Um, which is hardcore to be sure, um, but not quick and easy to do little, you know, afternoon prototypes like this. So, there you go. Thanks, Mongoose.